Inside Hockey, brought to you by Viagra. Elliot. Ron, six tremendous goalies, five of whom will be starting tonight. Between them, they have seven Vesnas, six Olympic medals, five Stanley Cups, one very tight fraternity. How big of a guy he is, he's pretty impressive. Seems like mentally he's very, uh, very stable. You know, I, I grew up uh, idolizing him. I just love the way uh, the way he plays and how everything smooth looks. He's probably one of the most sound goaltenders in the league, I think. You know, he he makes a lot of reflex saves, and uh, you know that that's what I like about him. Um, I think Miller's probably the complete package. A wonderful save. It's hard to teach what he does on the ice, uh, where he. He calmly makes saves. What I like about him is just uh, his demeanor. I think it, it, it's a tough it's a tough place to play hockey in Montreal. He can stand up and make a save. He can go down and make a save. He uses different skill sets over the course of the game. They had to make a tough call and let go Alak a few years ago, but I think they made the right call. Mentally, he's probably the best I've ever seen. He's got a lot of games where he has to face, uh, you know, 14, 15, 20 shots, and then, uh, you know, and the team's not scoring, and he has to come up with that one save, and, and he seems to be able to do it the whole career. Oh, I like him. This is the most similar goalie that I, I feel like I am. <laughs> when he came in the in the league, he uh, he had the energy and he had the. Uh, Kind of competitive spirit, and uh, I think he, he focused it and channeled it in a way that just was in your face. Yeah, you know, him, it, it's all about wanting to stop the puck, you know, and at, at any cost. His compete level is probably next to none in, you know, anybody in the NHL. As he settled down and, and uh, let the play kind of come to him once in a while is when he started having success. Oh, what a save by Lutwisk! For a guy who plays really deep, I mean, he makes himself look really big. Sometimes he looks deep when he gets beat, but you know, most of the time, you know, he's, he's pretty square to the shooter. He's by Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I would like to know what they think, though. At the end of the day, if you're not good, your team's not winning. So you need to be good, and I, this guy's got to stand the cup to prove it. Last year in the playoffs, there was a moment where you skated by Tim Thomas and you winked. I love that, but how often would you do that with somebody else? You know, obviously I have a lot of respect for Tim and what he's done throughout his career and how hard he's battled to get to where he's at. So, um, and in that, in that playoff series, it was pretty much just a war and everybody battled, battled, battled. And you have a lot of respect for, for your combatant at that particular time. I wouldn't talk to anybody, uh, you know, during the warm-ups or anything like that. If you make eye contact, if you know the other goalie, you know, it's kind of always nice. We compete against each other, but we really don't. I don't go near that uh, red line. I try not to talk too much unless I'm not playing. I might even just be like, you know, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Brodeur gave up five goals this week in his first game back. Miller was pulled on Wednesday night. That's why they can empathize with this. I won't apologize in front of the fans, in front of my teammates. And yeah, I have my reason why we lose the game tonight. Again, kind of lost in the woods right now. We've, we've all been there and, uh, you know, we know how it feels. I thought it was funny. You know what? At the end of the day, you know we know if we're not if we're good or not. You know some goalies can't can't say it. I think last year wasn't very easy. When you know, obviously, when you don't win for uh, I can't remember, and maybe it's a good thing, 14 or 15 games or something like that. I always say, if I have a bad goal, I wish I could get it back. It is one of sports' loneliest positions. Despite that, you can tell they love the responsibility that comes with being the last line of defense. You have to have the competitiveness uh, uh, level, and uh, you, you have to love the game. The rest of the stuff you can learn, but if you don't have those, those two, I think it's very hard.